Hello everyone, it's Miss Sophie with Growing Brilliant and today we are going to be making our own coral reefs. But before we start, I would like to talk to you a little bit about coral reefs. Here we have a picture of what a coral reef environment looks like. As you can see, we have sea anemones, there's some seaweed in the background, there's some bubbles there, and these are all different types of coral reefs. There's actually over 8,000 kinds of fish that live in these environments, and as well as over 400 types of coral reef. Coral reefs, um, they're a really great place for small fish to live because when the waves come in, when the tide goes up, it brings in all kinds of yummy food from deep out in the ocean for these sea creatures to eat. All right, are we ready to get started? Um, parents, I went ahead and did this um, beforehand so that you guys can see what it'll look like when it's cut out. But to start, we're going to need a white piece of paper, preferably construction paper. It's a little bit more durable. We're gonna need um, and a couple different colors of paint. I chose blue and orange, but you can choose whatever you'd like. I thought these would be fun summer colors. Um, and you're going to be using sponges to paint your paper. The act of gripping the sponge, dipping it, and placing it on the paper is really good for our fine motor skills. So let's use those. Are we ready? I've got my blue paint on my sponge. And I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. See? Just tap, 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 tap until most of my paper is covered. It's okay if there's little white spots. As that's why we want to use the sponge because it makes it have makes the paint have this really cool texture that kind of looks like the surface of some coral reefs. Okay, see, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. I think I'm ready for my orange. So I'm gonna take my other sponge, dip it in my orange paint, and I'm just gonna dab, 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 dab. You could honestly do however many colors you want. Coral reefs are a beautiful, beautiful little organisms. And they come in so many different colors. It's like a rainbow. Okay, almost done. Just tap, 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 tap. All right, so I need to let this dry. So while you're waiting for your paint to dry, you can talk about coral reefs and if you've ever seen one and what kinds of things that we need to do to protect our coral reefs because our fishes, they need those environments. Um, but I have a dried version. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my coral reef. Um, you might want to outline it first. Your child might need a little bit of help with this part but coral reefs come in all different shapes and sizes. There is no wrong way to make a coral reef. There's no wrong way to do art at all. All right, I am outlining my coral reef right now, and then I'm going to cut it out. Here's one. I think I wanna make this one a little bit shorter, but a little bit wider. Basically, we're just making squiggly lines. All right. Your child might need some help with the cutting or a reminder on how to hold their scissors, but for the most part, they're doing pretty great. All right. So I've outlined my coral reefs. So now I'm going to cut it out. Remember to hold our scissors we're gonna put three fingers in this big part and our thumb right here. Then we pinch our fingers together like this. All right, let's cut this out. And then when you're done cutting it out, if you want to, you can glue it onto another piece of paper or you can just leave them as is. I think I'm going to glue them to another piece of paper because I would like to Make a little, um, 
a little little art piece with um, some different sea creatures in it. You can always extend upon these art activities by adding more details from your own personal experiences, from things that you've learned. The more squigglier the coral reefs, the harder it is to cut. So make sure to take your time. Got all the time in the world. more squiggles left on this coral. Last one. And then I can clean it up a little bit. Aha, there we go. First coral reef has been cut out. Whoa, I dropped it. And I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. But here we go on to the next one. You can do as many coral reefs as you want. You can even turn this into um, more of a math activity by counting all of the arms on the coral reef and then adding more, subtracting. All right, we're getting closer, everybody. Maybe we can even put some clownfish in there like, like Nemo and his dad. You guys, um, would you guys like to help me count the arms on my coral reef? This blue one has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has six arms, and this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. How silly! They both have six. Did not mean to do that, but sometimes it just works out that way. All right, so now I'm going to put my reefs on my blue paper. I chose blue paper because it looks like ocean water. Take my glue stick and I'm just gonna glue that on. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. All right, here we go. Coral reef number one. Going down. We'd love to see what your guys' art projects or projects look like when they're done. You guys can always have your mommies and daddies upload them to our Facebook page so that your teachers can see them. Put our last coral reef down. And maybe later I'll add some fish. All right. You guys are doing great. Thank you so much for joining me with these art projects. It is so much fun. Oh, and there we have it, my coral reefs. Thank you guys so much for joining me.